go out like Pop Smoke or Pac a Big But I know God could do what he wants, that's his prerogative Let karma come around right now, that sounds provocative Cause I know negative times a negative equals positive um, Should we sin cause we under grace, I'm yelling God forbid So many haters coming by camp, I gotta cop the sig Traffic in Babylon, they head up the merchants Just because of my skin, they think I'm less of a person I'm coming to bruise the head of the serpent I got blood on my hands and they read as a surgeon Blessings and curses Take a um. look at me and tell me what you see Do you see a thug or do you see a human being? I'm not asking for your sympathy All I'm asking is for you to believe in me You to believe in me That's right. All praise and glory and honor to our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's your brother Taz Yah. Come back at y'all with another chop. Right? Appreciate y'all chopping up me. It's real, real deal. Right? It's going to be part two to the, uh, the you know, how we be having friends, frenemies, and foes out here, right? You know, uh, a lot of times we have foes. That you know, um, your friend and the light, so called, and then we also have a lot of frenemies, right? They might be your friend, but they really your enemy as well. But you know, um, once in the blue, you might have a true friend, right? But we want to talk about being a friend of the most high, right? How do you be a friend of the most high, or what does the most high consider, or let me say, how what does he, um, how does he consider you to be a friend, right? All right, it's the book of James, chapter 2, and verse 21. And it says, Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Right? Because we know we're not justified with just faith, right? We know that uh, without, how I go, um, faith is dead without works, right? The scripture says you justified by works, right? Verse 22, seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect. Straight like that. Verse 23, and the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. Straight like that. So long story short, you keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. And faith in Yahweh Shai, you are a friend of the Most High. That's you know that don't need to get broke down no more. All right, precepts. The book of John, chapter fifteen, and uh, verse four. Right. It says, "Abide in me, and I in you." As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Right. So, whole time you gotta abide in Christ. We know the order: Father, Christ, man, woman, child. Right. So, whole time. You abide in me. That's what he's saying. He's going to abide in you. Right? So deal with him and he's going to deal with you. Right? Now, the whole time, you know you know the scripture where he's knocking on the door and he tell you, taste and see that it's good. But, you know, once you, you know, choose what side you want, now it's time to get in order. Right? Now you follow your lead. Right? Uh, let me see. Verse 5. Uh, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. At least you can't do nothing on the right-hand side, <laughs> right? Um, verse 6, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and as Salak and is withered. And man gather, Salak and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. So the whole time, if you ain't dealing with your high with on the right-hand side of the most high, it's only a matter of time you're going you're gonna to get cast to the fire. Uh, verse 7, um... If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. That's a straight, you know, playing upon tables as well. You do what the Most High say, he give you what you want, he control everything. And that goes in full order, right? If you do what, you, if you do what you're supposed to do in order, right, your lead, I'm sure your lead is going to give you what you want. That's just playing upon tables. And, and there's so many um, facts in history to prove that, right? Um, even the wicked do that. Even the wicked, <laughs> uh, bless, um, you know, um, their heirs or, you know, whatever you want to call it, right? 
It's the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 5. It says, While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which saith, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Right? So the whole time, Yahweh Shai was doing what the Most High asked him to do. Right? And the Most High said, He is pleased. Straight like that. So you keep these law, statutes, and commandments, and faith in Yahweh Shai, the Most High is pleased with you. And when he pleased with you, you get what you want. It's really that simple, right? Let's keep going. It's the book of John, chapter 6, verse uh, 38. And it says, For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. I'm sure you like that. Playing upon tables. It's 39. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me. Slot. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me. That of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. So the whole time, you do what the Most High say, right? And he pleased with you. And your house child was that perfect example. We already know that, right? And, you know, it might seem like you're losing when you uh, don't do what you so-called want. But really, you're pleasing your leader. And most of all, you're pleasing the Most High. So, you know, it might seem like, um, what's that word? It might seem like a burden or uh, it might seem like you're not getting a reward right now, but you, he already promised you you will get a reward. So really, you got to endure, right? Even Christ said, I'm going to be raised up at the last day. So I ain't, ain't tripping about getting chastised right now, right? Verse 40, and this is the will of him that sent me, straight like that, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So you got to endure. Sometimes you might get, uh, uh, instant blessing. Sometimes you might got to endure for your, for your, or your, or your reward rather, right? So we all right. Boom. We know how to be a friend of the Most High, right? Keep these large statutes and commandments and faith in Yahweh. Which I basically push you out of friend, right? So let's look at some foes, right? Through the Spirit. This is Psalms eighty-three. Um, she reached off in the top. Um, the KJV. It's a lot. Uh, here we go. Let's start at um, verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they hate. It's a lot. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, which is the Israelites, Second Chronicles 6 and 6, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be in no more in remembrance. Right? That's why they run around calling themselves Christians. That's why they run around calling each other African Americans. And that's why they run around and calling each other niggas. All that, right? The name of Israel was cut off. Verse 5 For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And here go a list of the enemies. I'm going to go into a few. It says the tabernacles of Edom. We know that's Esau. The Ishmaelites. We know that's uh, the Arab, so called. Um, Moabites. We know that's the Chinese and Philippines and all them. The E's. <laughs> Uh, Koreanese, whatever, right? And the Hagarines, right? It's, it's, it's a few of these, right? Um, let me jump down to Amalek, though, because Amalek um, is a so-called Jewish man, right? And it says that um, uh, the Most High will be at war with Amalek forever, right? And you can look at just what's going on right now, how he's inhabiting, inhabiting the, the land of the chosen people. He in Israel right now, right, and he and he's bold, and he and he basically he's so bold he differentiates himself with the rest of the Edomites. He he, you know, he just think that he the top, you know, so called Edomite, and he ain't got nothing to do with them. They beneath him basically. You feel what I'm saying? And and from a worldly aspect, it, it looks just like that because, you know, the so called world thinks that the Jewish man is is, you know, the chosen one of God basically. Right, but it's right in front of your face where he's the Jewish man, so he's pertaining to a Jew. So really, and when you talk to any uh, so-called Jewish man, you know if they if they got a inkling that you know something, they'll admit that they're converts. So I mean, it's really eyes wide shut. I mean, they they really doing anything in front of your face. It's just if you're that dumb and won't really know what's going on, then they'll <laughs> they gonna act dumb right along with you and take advantage of you. But it's up to us to know that the Most High is only dealing with us, the true children of God, right? 
It's the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, right? We can't be ashamed of that. The Christian church, how you be ashamed? Because you loving everybody, right? Thinking John 3, 16 is talking about the whole world. When another scripture say he prayed for them and not for the world. So you just got to get understanding, man. Like Psalms say, keep these law, statutes, and commandments, and you will have understanding. Right? Whole time. Uh... Uh, let me get one more. It's a lot. Let me get one more, Israel. Uh, it's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and 28. And it reads, And the heathen, right? Stop right there. And the heathen, if you Israel or you a heathen. It's straight like that. If, if we just proved in Joel that the Most High is only dealing with Israel, everybody else is a heathen, right? And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, and the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forever. Playing upon tables, man. We just got to open our eyes and read and keep these law, statutes, and commandments so we're not blinded like John 12 and 40 say. It's really that simple, Israel. It's really that simple. But you got to watch your back and, um, you know, keep your eyes open and serve the Lord so he can have your eyes open, right? Because if not, you will have a friend of me in front of your face. Right, or you'll be uh, joining hand in hand with your foes and get destroyed, like scriptures say. So, really, it's, it's up to you to, to be on point and do like John 15 and say, Abide in Him, and He's going to abide in you. Right, all praise to the Most High. Appreciate y'all traveling me, Israel. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Shemiah, Right, DTA. Until next time, Shalom.